Good morning, guys. So I am working on our final check for the month of January. So super exciting. Um, yeah, so let's just, you know, jump into it. We've got uh, my first paycheck over here, which is very exciting to me. Oops. Let me see if I can just drag that over. Yep. Okay. And then this is different. So if you guys watched my last video, you know, I've had some every dollar struggles. So we're trying to, you know, learn as we go here. So, all right, let's just go on down. See like this, this is different. So I'm going to do some things differently next month. I really like the way every dollar looks. <laughs> so um, I really want to figure it out. I think it can be very useful. I mean, any budgeting is useful, of course. Um, but I think there are just some things about every dollar that are just a little bit different. Um, so let's go ahead, do that. I have there 142. So saying I am over budget, I'll just do that. Okay. Okay. And that's seems to be changing up there. So that's good. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is come down here because there is something I forgot to budget. You can see I added a line here, taxes, forgot our personal property tax, which was actually due in December. So got a small fee on that. It was actually 206 something. Um, but yeah, we're going to say 207. Okay. Sorry, I'm just looking at this to make sure. Okay. So I need to add that. Oh, whoops, not $65. That would be amazing, right? So I am going to add, um, no, I'm not adding. <laughs> Sorry. I'm still like, what is happening right now? Okay. Okay. Um, I guess I have to add my transaction. I've paid it because we did already pay it. This hasn't come out of the account yet because we paid with a check. Uh, pay the extra fees to the county, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, I still feel like, uh, <laughs> like this, no, is this is messing me up right there. Like, um, I don't know. Let's go down here and see maybe what else I have to fund. I know the envelopes are already funded. We don't need anything here. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to just pull up my calculator again. So this is what has me confused. I am, I got some of your videos to watch. And so I really appreciate that. Um, I'm scrolling all over the place. I've got to be very irritating to watch doing this, but I mean, okay. So like we know I did the hundred. I don't think you guys can see my calculator this time. So I did 142. Okay. And then we did the 207, right? So there's that. And then we did 650. Okay, so that takes us down to $421.08. <sighs> this says I still have that. I'm so confused. But, uh, 
Yeah, so, I mean, we're just going to come down here and we're going to put it on the van. I suppose it's because... It's because of that. I don't know. I don't know what I say it was. 42108. So we've made... Hold on, let's talk about this in a second. Huh? Oh shoot, I didn't put that on the... <laughs> uh, oh boy. Let's see if I can just drag that over. Yay! Woohoo! Look at that! Oh my gosh, we did so much money on that van. Oh, maybe I'll just... I don't know, add my... <laughs> this is just bothering me. Oh my gosh. Okay, so next month I think I'm going to do this differently. So that I don't see that and bothering the heck out of me. I get rid of that. Okay. Oh. Oh God. Okay. Oh eight. Ugh. So this is real life people, like really real life struggles here. Okay, woohoo, it says it's an every dollar budget, but I'm very confused as to how. So, but I promise you it is still accurate. I've been, you know, comparing my bank account, all these things, it is accurate. So anyway, um, yeah, look at this amount we paid toward the van. Oh, I have a little coloring sheet, it's like a little car that i've um yeah they printed out and we broke it down into like little pieces and mm, it'll be fun we get to color off like one and a half square i think so excited about that and look at this okay and that's with just our income and with just one of my checks so okay that is very exciting. Let's go back up here and talk about my check though. So this is my first check, 142008. And of course I, you saw that I had just a thousand dollars there. I didn't know what my checks were going to be because I do have, um, health insurance and a large amount in our HSA. Um, and that amount of money is not coming out yet. That all ends up being like $216. And that's just because um, the place I work has amazing health insurance um, at a very low price. Well, I mean, I still chose the high deductible plan, which was like $3,200 for a family, which is very low. Um, and then I opted to have like the full HSA or at least the full deductible come out as HSA because, you know, I have mental health issues. We have a bunch of kids. So like I have ongoing expenses and some expenses for that, that could just, you know, pop up out of nowhere. So, um, yeah, plus dental, I, maybe I should have done more because of dental stuff, but anyhow, that is not going to be the normal amount. It's going to be closer to $1,100, $1,200. Um, because I also have, like they automatically do at least 5% out of your check. So I'll have that coming out. Um, anyway, yeah. So I am estimating that it will be more around 1100 um, per check. But still, um, you know, look at the amazing things we were able to do with this amount of money. Now, a lot of people would think that that's not a lot of money, especially for, if you don't know, we are a family of six. So that is really, really good. Now, granted, we did not fund a lot of items. You know, January, we decided it was going to be kind of low spend. So we did not fund like clothing, you know, um, school activities, things like that. So there will be less coming out, but even if, let's say, even if one of my entire checks went to all those extra things, which it won't, um, 
we still have so much right here. So much right there. So I am super excited. Um, I hope that, you know, our level of income or saying this amount of income maybe encourages some people, um, you know, based on like our family size, the income we came in that came in this month. Um, and then, you know, just what you're able to do with whatever amount of money you have. If you just take the time to plan it out, whether you're using this, um, every dollar, which seems amazing, but I'm still, you know, trying to comprehend, or, you know, you're using your own Excel sheet, or even if you're doing it on paper, which I have found to be kind of rough, um, or, you know, some other budgeting app or website or what have you. Um, yeah, as long as you're keeping track of your money somehow, some way, budgeting it out, like you can do pretty amazing things with, you know, whatever amount that you have. So there's that. I'm going to close out this month. I've got to go after I get off of here, <laughs> pay our mortgage payment for the month, and then we are done. So yeah, let me know in the comments, like, how did your month end up? I know a couple of you have told me, like, you had a bunch of extra expenses, which is like, meh. But I mean, if you have the money to cover it, that is great. So yeah, let me know. I hope your month was fabulous.